Here we have an Asus laptop that came in for no power. The model number on the laptop is the GL703V. And the motherboard is green in color. We are used to seeing a lot of the red motherboards, blue motherboards, but this one is the green one. Laptop does not power on. We already disassembled the board. Let's go under the microscope and see what's going on and why the board is not powering on. Where is the power connector for this laptop? Oh, so the power connector is a flex cable that connects here and you connect the charger to the flex cable. Right there. So that's the power input here. There's a cable that plugs into that connector and then we plug in the laptop charger via that cable. I do not see any nearby MOSFETs here. Usually I check on those MOSFETs, but I do not see anything here. And if we flip the board, I do not see any MOSFETs on the back either. But looking with my eye on the board, I do see MOSFETs far away from the area right here. I do see two MOSFETs right here. If we measure in diode mode, let's start with the drain of the first MOSFET. Of course, we have to have our multimeter on and measure here. And we have a short. You see, we have it that short. Let's confirm the short by measuring the connector. Positive should be the first three. Ground should be the last three. And then we have data and clock in the middle. So if we measure here, we have a short. Big Boss did tell me that the charger is going off when he plugs it in. So we know that we have a short at the connector. If we go over this diode here, we have a short at the diode also. Red probe on the bottom, black on top. Flip the probes, we have a short. Short at the diode, most likely. Let's inject voltage and monitor the board under a thermal camera and see what happens. We're going to inject 1.5 volts at the positive side of the connector. And then we're going to go under the thermal camera and see what gets hot. Right now, the diode is measuring for a short, so we could possibly have a bad diode. Right now, if I did not have a thermal camera, I would start with the diode and see if that's the problem. But since we do have a thermal camera and we do have a voltage injection tool, we're going to do it that way. Let's inject voltage, first spin of the connector. And look at this. The diode got hot. One more time. Right here. See my finger? Look under it. Wow. We got it. We got it. Let's fix it and jump over to the next device. That's how we do it here. Most laptops take me about few minutes to figure out the problem and if the laptop is going to take more than five minutes it's probably a rabbit hole we're gonna remove the diode now it's a big diode so we may have to use the help of the hot air station I have a small tip on I do have a bigger tip but it fell on the floor and got bent What can you do? Now, I do not want to use my hot air station because we have a plastic connector right here and we have a plastic connector right here and applying heat over here is doable, but let's work on the safe side. This tip is smaller. I'm trying to see if I have a bigger tip Okay, this one is big. Let's try that one. And I have a very big one.
and this one is bigger. So we may be able to desolder using the hot tweezers only without any low melt or hot air. Let's try this one. We're gonna put it on this side. And while at it, let's prep the pads. Are we in focus? Right now. All right. Let's measure to see if we still have a short. Meter in diet mode. We're gonna measure here. Now look at this. We no longer have a short. You see? The short is not coming from this side of the board, but the short is the diet. If we measure here, ground, and if we measure here, 2.4, voltage drop awesome now if we look at this diode here red probe on the left side and if we flip the probes the diode is back short diode so where are we gonna get another diode like this very simple Let's grab an HP SPECT motherboard. I know that we have similar diodes. It may not be exactly the same specifications, but it will work. And right here, we have two of them. Let's grab one and we can safely use hot air on this one. Why don't we turn on our anti-glare light and see the difference that it makes. One, two, and three. Bye-bye glare. Bye-bye reflections. And hello to a nice clean image, nice colors, and good contrast. Now we should be able to use this tip again because we are working with leaded solder and not unleaded. Factory solder is unleaded and it takes a lot more heat to liquefy that solder. Right now we have leaded, so we should be able to work with this tip. Let's add some flux. And we are done. That should be it. The laptop should be fixed. I'm not joking. When was the last time I joked with you? The laptop is fixed. If we turn off our anti-glare light and back to the ring light, that's what we see. So you can see how the anti-glare light brings out the vibrance, the color, saturation, and no glare. One more time. Beautiful. You can see everything on the board. The microscopic lines, the light green, the dark green, everything. We can still see the lines here with the ring light, but they are not defined. You cannot tell if this board is blue or green or black. But the ring light has its uses and it's used in combination with the anti-glare light to get the best possible image.
different scenarios require different lights or maybe a combination of both. Now, if we flip the board to check on the back MOSFETs, the one that measured for a short, let's see if we still have a short. Meter in diode mode. Are we going to get a beep? No. We have 0 0.643 voltage drop, and that's awesome. What have you done today? I'm done. Why are you jealous? I'm done. I'm going to hand over the laptop to Big Boss to reassemble and test, and I'll be back to finish the video. assembly with the reassembly of the laptop and let's see are we gonna have good news or am I gonna have to work on this again any lights good yes and, good news yes good news the keyboard backlight is on and but uh laptop is working awesome Amazing, amazing. Big Boss did it again. What would we do without Big Boss? Awesome. Thank you, Big Boss, the boss of all bosses. We're done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.